Hi guys, I wanted to show you a few ways to improve your trading experience. Uh, I've been using this a lot since on whenever I farm leads on, I have book of like pretty much every material. And the first tip is to use um, POE stack. What does POE stack do? Basically, it links your Discord and your POE. And it looks at through your tabs and you can in one click list everything that you have uh, for sale on TFT. So how does this work? Uh, you can select the tabs that you want it to look at. For example, uh, uh, a few hours ago, I sold all my uh, Delirium stuff for like 4 Divines 21C in one click. I sold all of my Fossils for like 10 Divines. I sold all my Scarabs for like 11 Divines 0.1. And then all my Essences for about 4.5 Div. And this took minutes that if, if I had to trade everything one by one, it would take hours. So how do you do this? You select all the tabs that you wanna you want it to look at, and then you'd load the tabs. Whenever it's downloading, it's fetching them. Uh, you select whatever you want to sell. And for example, heist. This is my heist tab. I'll show you in game. This is my heist tab. I've dumped everything heist related in here. And now it just scans it. And here, there's a list of everything that I have, a 52 deception. You can override the value. You can increase it and lower it if you don't like the value. So like, see, it goes up. You can lower it, 11C. And then whenever you have like the prices that you like, you can just the post of TFT or you can multiply the price as well. It goes up and down based on uh, how you want to change it. And then you click post on TFT. And then in a few seconds, if you look here, I uh, want to sell. Bull, bull guys want to sell uh, un ancestral you jump here and then you can see my message here with all of the stuff that i'm selling everything and it took one second i didn't have to do anything i, I could probably getting yep everyone's spamming me for the items to buy and uh, it takes a few seconds and it's so fast to trade this is just one of the tricks i'm gonna show you more and other things that you can do with POE stack, let's say you want to buy at least 20 leads on compasses, you can see the bulk of everyone that is listing them. So for example, you type the compass that you want leads on, a minimum quantity. Uh, let's say you want a Gloom Shrine. Gloom Shrine. And minimum 20, you can see 20C, and you just can copy the Whisper and just message them. Uh, you, you can, it just does everything by itself. You don't need to do anything. It's so much faster than... Going through the Discord, looking at the channel of um, Compass uh, Want to Sell, and then typing Gloom Shrine. And then you message the person with the Gloom Shrine, and one by one, this is so much faster. What else can you do? Uh, you can look for parties for five ways and other stuff. Uh, it's very convenient, it saves a lot, a lot of time, and let's go to the next tip. The next tip is how do you buy? A full sets in bulk so let's say you want to buy a full leads on set because you want to do a five way so what you can do is you group by seller and then you put the minimum stock if you want and can fulfill trade yes and now it will find all the people that have all the five sets so if you search for them you can just look at um look at this and these guys, you can contact them and you can decide how many you want to buy. One divine worth, you can buy like one divine worth of each. You can also, instead of um, divines, you can select chaos. So you can buy them with chaos instead. So it's a little bit cheaper. Um, let's say you want to buy two sets of everything. You can do this and then you do, the, do direct whisper. Okay, th that guy doesn't, doesn't have it. Uh, let's say you want to buy 10 sets. I'm not going to actually... I'm not going to buy it, but that basically you just message one guy in one message. You buy everything. It's so much more convenient. I'm going to message this guy. Never mind. Got some. Sorry. So, so I don't actually have to buy them. I was just giving you guys an example and you don't have to do it with uh, Legion sets. You can do it. For example, let's say you want one Shaper set and one normal Elder set, like one Uber Elder set and one Shaper. Like, let's say yeah, like a combination of other random stuff together. It shows you what people have, and you can just, this is way overpriced, but yeah, you get the idea. Let's say you just want to buy like a shipper set, you can do this. Usually people have these. Yeah, so 9 KOs each, you can buy a stack, you can buy like a 10 shipper sets really, really fast.
the next tip is whenever you're trading, if you press Alt, you can see on the bottom here, it tells you how many of the items that you're mousing over you have. See, it's not there anymore, and now it's there. So I have three divines. If I mouse over, it tells me I have three. This is really convenient whenever you don't want to get scammed. When you do big, big trades, you can just look at the number and you can guarantee that you're not getting scammed. And you can do it with chaos. So if you have multiple currencies, you can do it with multiple currencies at once. And it also works when you're trading. So this guy is a 35 seed trade for like a random cluster. And I know that it's exactly 35 because you can just mouse over it. So it's really convenient and uh, it's really good. The next tip is how to search for item. Let's say you want a really well-rolled Iris Ire. Um, you search for it, and then instead of typing every mob one by one, uh, what you can do is either look for a non-corrupted one, so you don't get weird implicits, uh, or you can just look for a corrupted one and then take this off. You can just copy using this button, you copy all the stats, and then uh, you can uh, select every roll. Uh, let's say you want a high cold, the maximum roll goes 145 to 200, so the maximum is 345. The average is like what, one. 72.5 so let's say you want at least 165 cold so you you look for all the high high rolled cold ones uh and then let's say you want to even put it like make it even better you can put a weighted sum you basically on this search you only search for one roll and then you do a weighted sum uh you put a weight on everything <clears throat> So you can see at the bottom the sum of all the rolls, what it up, adds up to. So you can see how well an item is rolled without looking at every single stat. Uh, you can do something like this. Like you, you have a numerical value of how good rolled uh, chest is. And then you can also compare it with the best rolled on the market. So you, you, it's like a really, really fast way to compare. While also keeping the end of the rolls that you really want. The next tip is uh, how to properly trade without wasting a lot of time going through the whole list of, for example, let's say you want to buy uh, Divines with Chaos. Instead of messaging like 100 people, what you, look, what you do, you look at like the average price around uh, here. It's probably like 207, 208. And uh, instead of, of just messaging everyone, you can just put a price, exact price, one Divine divided by 207. And then you put divine. So this means that one chaos is worth one 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 two hundred and seventh of a divine. So basically, uh, your message is gonna be around there, like uh, a one for two hundred seven. So other people have to message you to buy the divine, so you don't have to go through all those trades. And it's like so much faster to just invite and trade. You can do this with every item. So what you do, you just type price. If you don't have, so if you want to sell like, if you want to liquidate everything, you just list everything for divines. Or if you don't have enough stack for doing a divine trade, uh, you can do something like this. Instead of doing like two, these are zero points. Is these are two to three ratio, right? So two chaos is three blast orbs. Instead of doing two, two to three, you should do something like twenty to thirty, so you don't get random people messaging you for like two or three blast orbs. Uh, you want like to do bulk trades or like you can do 40 divided by 60 if that is your minimum amount of um, a trade that you want to do because uh, it's not efficient to do multiple small trades. You'd rather just do one uh, and just do it way faster. Other things that you can use is um, Awaken Pure Trade. When, whenever you want to check something, there's a, a keybind. Mine is on Control alt d and you can just instantly price check your items, so you you don't really get scammed. You can do use it on unique rares. Um, you need to know how to use it correctly, uh, but yeah, it's really convenient, especially if you wanna do a quick conversion of currency. Uh, it shows you like all the leads on stuff. It, it shows every item, so you should definitely install Awaken Pure Trade. It's like a must, uh, and not only uh, it's good for currency, you can also use it for Redex, for example. Uh, you can add a map rolling rejex for the mods that you can't run. Uh, you can uh, do something like this for scarabs. Whenever you want to pull out the scarabs that you need on your strategy. So you, because there's like so many lines, you sometimes you just forget where they are. You don't want to waste time. Uh, you, I use it for the incubators, the incubators that I want to use out of all these ones. Or Nata Diviner, and so I filter all of them out. It's just so convenient. You can use it for Gwennen, for filtering leather belts. Um, Gwennen, and there's also a website where you can look at all these rejects. 
uh, for example, uh, I think it's here, Gwenin reads X. Yeah, uh, is this one, poe.re slash expedition. You can do with the vendor, map modifier, highest. You can do with everything, expedition, and you just copy this message, and it, it shows, like, the best um, reads X for Gwenin. But this is not, like, really trade-related, but it's, like, more like a general mm, knowledge thing. Yeah, and that's pretty much a must. You you need Awaken PoE Trade to play PoE. You, you kind of need it. Uh, there's also two more add-ons that you should probably add to your um, browser. The first one is Path of Exile Trade Fuzzy Search. What does this do? Basically, whenever you type something, it automatically adds tilde in the front of your message. So what does tilde do? Let's say you want to look for uh, implicit frenzy for your gloves. Maximum frenzy charge is implicit. Uh, this wouldn't uh, show up if I didn't have this. See, if I don't have the tilde in the front, implicit frenzy shows nothing. What does the tilde do then? Uh, basically, as long as this word and this word is in the text of the, of the mod, it will show up. And so basically, before every search, you need to add it. And fuzzy search just does it automatically. You never have to type it again. It makes it so much easier to search because if you didn't have it, if you didn't have the tilde down the front, you would have to type plus hashtag two maximum frenzy charges, and you can just do implicit frenzy, and it just shows up instantly. It's so much faster, so much easier. And whenever you get your uh, good searches going, and you don't wanna uh, lose them, what you can do is you can just save them here, register current trade, and you can just save your trades. And now they just get added. You don't need to bookmark on anything or anything. If you have better trading, you just download better, tra better trading. And you have all of your searches from all the leagues. I still have uh, searches from other leagues. They still work from last league. And uh, this stuff from like this league early. And you have all of your searches saved up. So you don't forget anything. Uh, and let me know in the comments below if you know of any other tips that can improve your trading experience. And uh, see you in the next video, guys. Bye.